The 2019 World Junior Championship Tournament has come to a close. In today's video, we're going to recap the gold medal game between Team USA and Team Finland and take a look ahead to next year's 2020 World Junior Championship Tournament. We'll discuss that coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams as well as international tournaments. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So another World Junior Championship tournament has come to a close. The 2019 tournament is complete. Team USA and Team Finland battled it out for the gold medal on Saturday night. And it was a, certainly a fantastic game which came right down to the wire. Now Team Finland wins the gold medal, winning it in dramatic fashion the same way they beat Team Canada in the corner final matchup, scoring a late goal here to pull ahead with a 3-2 victory over Team USA. Now this game was pretty close the entire way through. Now of course early on in the first period, the US had a goal, they did score, but the goal was eventually disallowed. With international hockey, of course, the rules are slightly different when it comes to goaltender interference, players in the crease, etc. And it was a rule that there was a player in the crease, which kind of reduced the sight line of the goaltender. Uh, so therefore, the goal was not counted. It was disallowed, even though the U.S. thought they had a one nothing lead. Uh, since that was wiped out, they end the first period completely scoreless. Approximately halfway through the second period, the Finns were able to strike first to get on the board with a nice goal from Jesse Alonen. Uh, so that put them up one nothing. So after two periods of play, we had a one and nothing lead for Team Finland. Uh, both goaltenders, I thought Caden Primo for the U.S. as well as Lukanen for Finland, uh, both playing outstanding, all kinds of great chances, lots of great saves. Very entertaining hockey game here so far. Early into the third period, the Finns strike again, going up two to nothing with a goal from Latvala. Now, of course, that really looked like it could have put a dagger in the U.S.'s hopes of winning a gold medal here, but it was not long after they responded incredibly quickly here with a couple of quick goals, and within no time, we had a two to two game. The U.S. markers came from Chemlowski and then Josh Norris to tie things up. So within a short span early in the third period, we had three goals after only having one for the previous 40 plus minutes. Uh, things were certainly heating up for an epic finish and the game certainly did not fail to deliver in that respect. Finnish player in 2019 top prospect Capo Kako scores with a minute and 32 remaining in the third period to put a major dagger in the hopes of the U.S. team winning and put Finland on top with a 3-2 score. Kako's had an incredibly strong tournament for somebody of his age. Obviously, you know, for somebody of his skill level to expect it to go number one or two in the NHL draft here in 2019 certainly does not come as a big surprise that he was able to deliver here at a big moment. It was certainly a fun matchup as well to see Jack Hughes and Capo Kako basically go head-to-head -head here. Of course, Kako's team comes on top with the gold medal, but Jack Hughes was certainly very impressive here as well. And so far, based around the experts I've seen, I don't think that the uh, tournament here has really had an impact on number one and two overall selection so far amongst many of the experts. Many still believe Jack Hughes will go number one and Kako number two, but there's still plenty of hockey left this season. And I think to a degree also it's going to depend on who holds that number one pick and how they feel about each player. But so far, the general consensus is even though Kako had a great tournament, scored that big goal, Jack Hughes is still likely to go number one here in June of the 2019 draft. So with a minute and a half to go, the U.S. scrambled, pulled their goaltender, did everything they could to try to get things tied up, but the Finns held on for the victory, taking home the gold medal. Of course, the U.S. then wins silver. We had seen previously and recapped in another video with Team Russia winning the bronze. So, of course, your three medals here, Finland, USA, and Russia for the 2019 tournament. So Team Finland, even though they started the tournament a little bit slow, kind of went better here as the tournament went on. And even though they didn't get huge games out of some of their bigger stars, like Ellie Tolvin, for example, they were still able to come out victorious victorious here and win the gold medal. Now let's look ahead quickly here to the 2020 tournament, which will get underway next year at Boxing Day, just like it does every year. And of course, next year's tournament will be leaving Canada, heading over to be hosted by the Czech Republic. And of course, as you know, every year for this tournament, they're put into two groups, groups A and B. And of course, they change every year based on the results of the previous season. So there is going to be some changes heading into the groupings for next year. So I'm gonna put a graphic here up on the screen and we'll take a quick look at how things will shake out for next year's tournament. So of course in Group A, you're gonna have Team Finland, Team Switzerland, Team Sweden, Team Slovakia, and Team Kazakhstan. In Group B, which is gonna be incredibly tough, you're gonna to have Team USA, Team Russia, Team Canada, Team Czech Republic, and Team Germany. Yes, Germany will enter the tournament next year. Denmark will be relegated to the lower level, and the Germans will have a chance to come up and compete at the top tournament here for the World Juniors. Of course, what a way to welcome Germany to put them in such a tough group 
taking on four countries that are going to be incredibly tough here. Uh, but obviously with Team Canada losing early in the quarterfinals, that's kind of what projected them into this group as well. Otherwise, these groups would have been really been evened out a little bit better, but it all goes based on how teams finish this year. So due to how the teams finish this year, it's certainly going to rearrange things a little bit next year for sure, but it's going to make for some great entertaining hockey. Obviously, we're going to get to see some key matchups like Canada versus the U.S., Canada versus Russia, etc. So it's certainly going to be an incredible tournament over in the Czech Republic. There's going to be all kinds of of 2019 draft and 2018 draft players uh, representing their countries in this tournament again like we saw this year. So once again the 2019 tournament is all wrapped up. We had all kinds of great hockey, all kinds of big moments here and we look forward to the 2020 tournament where we're going to see all kinds of top prospects do it all over again and create more memories and more moments for yet another great tournament. If you're new to the channel here, hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams as well as these international tournaments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up before you go. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. We will catch you next time.